welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Like I mentioned in my last video on Monday, I am starting something super exciting today and you guys are going to see me start the entire process. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Haley. Thank you for stopping by. And today I am starting project 333. So this is something that was created by Courtney Carver. She is the author and the writer of bemorewithless.com. She has been at this for years and she started project 333 to help people well, she started it out with herself, obviously, but eventually she started to share it with the world so that she could help people realize that we can be more with less, and less is obviously more. I have said that countless times on my channel here, and ever since I did declutter a ton of my stuff and, you know, give them to better homes, I have felt so much more at peace, so much calmer, and I feel like my things do not define me anymore. So today I'm starting Project 333 and obviously it is the 31st of December so I cannot believe I'm saying this but tomorrow is the first day of a new year. 2021 is going to be a really good year especially for us here on this channel. I know that we are going to grow and learn so much together and I'm super stoked about it. But just to give you a bit of background, and I'm going to put a bit of a visual over here to my right, but to give you a bit of background on what Project 333 is, basically you can join it anytime you want. And Courtney Carver has a few different like workshops or memberships on her blog that you can check out. I will link it down below for you, but you can also just print off her guide and there's like three sheets I think that I just printed off so that I could um, see these in person physically. So basically these are the rules. Every three months and you can join anytime, that's the when. What is 33 items including clothing, accessories, jewelry, outerwear, and shoes? What not? It does not include your wedding ring or another sentimental piece of jewelry that you never take off. It doesn't include underwear, sleepwear, in-home loungewear, and workout clothing that's only worn to work out. And basically what you do is you choose your 33 items, you box up the remainder of your wardrobe, you seal it with tape, and you put it into storage and out of sight. So that is what we are doing today, my friends. I am going to choose 33 items. It is going to be a challenge for me. Um, I'm gonna choose 33 items from my wardrobe that I will wear for three months. And this challenge is basically just that. It's something that I wanted to challenge myself with in the new year. I think that we grow the most when we are challenged and when we are facing obstacles that we may not have come across before. And so I wanted to start off the new year right and I want to teach myself in the form of a mindset and just how I think about things to not define my worth with my things and to focus on other important things in my life. When I am constantly choosing what to wear or figuring out what to style for a photo shoot or what my next outfit should be for Instagram within a photo shoot, I'm taking time away from things that I could be doing that spark joy and make me feel more at peace and aligned with my values, if that makes sense. So that is why I'm doing this challenge. It is not to declutter further. It is not to decrease, again, how much I own because I probably will bring a lot of this stuff back into my wardrobe after this, but it's really just to kind of train myself and train my brain to know that it is okay to live with less. And honestly, who knows what's gonna happen at the end of these three months because Maybe I won't want to bring anything else into my wardrobe. Maybe I'm going to find this superior sense of peace with living with only 33 items in the realm of fashion. And honestly, I'm okay with that because at this point, I feel like I have kind of found my purpose, my true purpose and calling as someone who has a following on here to share what is right and what is good. So... I'm super excited to do this and if you want to join me in doing this I'm also going to be posting a little bit on my Instagram page um, and you can DM me you can comment down below if you're gonna do this with me I think that it's a really great way to challenge ourselves in you know the realm of fashion so yeah um, one more thing that she notes here is that 
you can consider that you are creating a wardrobe that you can live, work, and play in for three months. So for me, it's gonna be January, February, March. And throughout that time, there's really nothing huge that happens because I don't think Easter is until April, if I'm correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. And with the pandemic and everything going on, there's not a lot of social outings or events that I'll be going to. Probably none at all, to be honest. So I'm confident that I'll be able to do this um, without feeling like I don't have something for a certain event. But it will definitely include like more formal pieces just in case. Um, so it says, remember that this is not a project in suffering. If your clothes don't fit or are in poor condition, replace them. So Courtney says that she does not want anyone who's doing this challenge to feel like they are forced or to feel like it is impossible. This is something that you can basically make your own, she says. And so that is different for every single person. So today when I am sharing the items that I'm going to be keeping in my 33 bucket, they might not necessarily be the same ones that you would keep. So try not to, if you're doing this challenge, compare yourself to what I'm keeping versus what you want to keep because everybody's lives are different. Um, maybe right now there might be some similarities because a lot of us are staying at home more often, but we all have different jobs. We all have different relationships and social lives. So try to make it your own and really think about what works for you. So just quickly before I start going through my wardrobe with you guys, she has a few helpful tips um, for the Project 333 Challenge. So she says, um, basically there's some blog posts that you can read on her blog that outline more in detail what this project is all about. After you finally clean out your closet for good, choose your 33 items. So I feel like I've definitely gotten to a point in my wardrobe where I have the bare I don't want to say bare minimum because I have quite a bit of clothing still, but I feel like I'm at a point where I have found my personal style through a lot of trial and error and the things that I've gotten rid of have helped me figure out what my true style is. So I'm good in that sense. Um, and she says, there is no danger in dressing with less. Shut down the fear of not having enough with curiosity. So I think that having less is definitely going to help me be more creative in the outfits that I wear. And I think this kind of goes for everyone as well because within those 33 items, like she said, it includes your accessories, jewelry, and your shoes. So those are things that can really make a statement. And if you have something in your wardrobe, say a necklace or maybe it's a hat, that feels like you and is kind of your signature piece, this is something that you can incorporate into your outfits in different ways that help you be more creative and really spark joy when you're getting dressed. Um, she also says, if you're still too scared, take tiny steps. So she has a list of 10 items that you can start with. Get rid of the clothes that make you feel bad. If you feel sad that clothes don't fit or guilty that you spent too much on something, then let it go, you've paid enough. So a lot of the time we keep things in our wardrobes and I found this with my huge decluttering binge that I had things in my wardrobe that weren't necessarily good for me anymore. Like they didn't bring me any joy and I didn't really know why I was keeping them. So those are the things that you can just kick out the door. Um, remove temptation. Cancel email subscriptions to online shopping sites and other stores. This is something that I have already done and this is something that I am continuing to do on all of my platforms online. So whether that be Pinterest and you know not following or pinning things that spark me wanting to shop. Um, it's Instagram following retailers that constantly um, share new items and sales and all of those things. And this is also tying into sustainability and that new world that I am diving into. And I think that that's something that needs to be talked more about on here, but it's not really related to this video so much. So I'm going to save that for another time. Um, but, you know, removing temptation is going to set you up for success. At least that's what I've found as well. So that's something that's really important to do. Trade shopping for self-care. So I talked about this in my video on Monday. And basically one of my triggers is when I am feeling emotional or lonely, um, I go to shopping and I let myself spend money that 
I don't want to spend, that I didn't want to spend in the first place. And that is something that is super important to note and I think everybody has different triggers. So by trading that shopping experience for self-care, you know, maybe taking a hot bath or doing a round of meditation or yoga, that is something that you can create into a habit that you will then bring with you throughout your life. So I think that that's a really great idea that she provides. And then another thing is that there is a hashtag project 333 on Instagram. So if you're someone who likes to follow along with a group of people, that's something you can do too. And yeah, you can blog about it, share about it on social media. And that is exactly what I'm doing with you guys. So I hope that by posting this, it will help to keep me accountable. I know for sure that I'm going to put my other items that are not included in the 33 bunch into my dad's warehouse and that is going to be very difficult for me to access it on a whim basically so if i'm feeling like i need something i don't think i'll have as much motivation to go to his warehouse get out the box dig through the pile of stuff and find it and i think that's going to be really helpful so if you have you know a friend or maybe you don't live with your parents if you can bring that box of stuff to another place it's really gonna help you and set you up for success so i'm really excited to get into this i know i've been talking for 11 minutes already wow um, but let's get started with setting up my 33 items Sorry for the horrible, horrible lighting, but I think, you guys, I have made progress. I have 33 items on my list, and I feel like I might be tweaking the rules a little bit when it comes to jewelry because I really wear only a handful of pieces, but I switch them out and wear them equally. So I know that it mentioned on Courtney's um, post that you can exclude the pieces that you wear every day and never take off. And for me, these are the pieces that I would never take off if it weren't for like going in the shower and you know washing your hands and things like that. So I have included two pairs of earrings. Um, one of them I pretty much wear all the time and then the pearls I kind of switch in and out. But they are pieces that are sentimental to me. They're for my boyfriend and so I want to include those. But I don't necessarily feel like they make me make decisions i guess in the morning like they're not hard decisions for me to make when i'm putting on an outfit so i'm just excluding those from my 33 items and i hope that that's not completely cheating because it's not technically clothing but yeah so for the 33 items that i chose it was extremely hard and i am honestly so scared to do this because once these clothes are out of my house I'm afraid I'm gonna realize like what have I been doing my whole life <laughs> and I'm also nervous because I want to be able to create content with you guys and I know that I um, really speak highly about the fact that I'm able to put outfits together with very few pieces and I feel like that's one of my strong points when it comes to fashion because I'm all about versatility but this is going to be a true test on whether or not that is true because the pieces that I've chosen are the ones that I feel are the most versatile and if I end up feeling stuck um, and not knowing what to wear then I'm gonna have to rethink you know how I dress and the the clothes that I choose to purchase so yeah, there's just a lot of thoughts running through my mind, but I'm happy that I've been able to secure 33 items. And I think that it's a really good group of items, things that I love to wear. So yeah, I'm excited for the journey. I have to clean up my room now and put everything in storage, but I will show you guys in a second exactly what is on my list. Hello friends, I am back. It is the next day because it was getting pretty late and it was dark out and I was kind of tired. So 
I put everything in one spot to show you guys exactly what my 33 pieces are. I'm not going to be doing a try on because I'm not trying to promote what I think you guys should have in your wardrobe. This is what works for me, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And so I just wanna give you guys an idea of exactly what I'm going to be wearing for the next three months. And if I'm being totally honest, I think this is a really good amount of clothing and I'm really happy with the pieces that I've been able to just kind of pick and choose from because I know I'm going to be able to wear them in a ton of different ways. I'm also only working three days a week so that definitely cuts down how many outfits I need to wear throughout the week which will make it a little bit easier um, but the tricky part is going to be when I am shooting photos with my photographer and creating those outfits for you guys to see so that's hopefully where I will be able to boost my creativity. So without further ado, let's jump into what's on the rack. So I'm going to start off with the accessories that I am keeping. So the items that I have chosen from my wardrobe are not necessarily the ones that I have been wearing the most, but rather the pieces in my wardrobe that I think are actually the most versatile. So the first item I have here is a silk scarf. This is from, I'm actually not going to say the names and where they're from, but it's basically a big square silk silk scarf and I love this one because first of all because it's 100% pure silk it kind of elevates the outfit just because of the way that it moves and flows and I love this because you can wear it in a ton of different ways around your neck you can wear it in your hair as a belt and I can tie this onto a handbag as well or I could tie it up and use it as a handbag. So I probably will share a video of that on my IG Reels just to give you guys a cool like styling hack. But I think this will be a very versatile piece for me. And silk is typically pretty warm, I think. The next one that I have here is a knit black scarf. This is something that I recently just got on sale because I do not have any black scarves and I felt like I was kind of missing a knitted piece. This is what really keeps me warm. It's a good size, um, not too big. It's definitely not like a blanket scarf or anything like that. So that's why I think it's the most versatile. And you can't really go wrong with black, especially as it gets colder in the winter season. Black is just a color. It's not really a color, but it's a tone that really just goes with everything else in my wardrobe. The next two accessories I have here are my NY hat. So this is something that I've been wearing quite frequently on a more casual basis. And I really like this one for going out and doing errands, especially when it's raining outside, which I expect we're going to be getting much more of in January, February, and March. And then the next piece that I have here is my Christian Dior thrifted belt from Paris. So this is a belt that I'm actually going to go and have um, fixed because first of all there are so many I don't know creases at the end of the belt just because it has been you know pre-worn and then also it's too big for me I don't actually have a hole where I can put it and fit properly around my waist so I kind of just push the end of the belt through one of the loops and tighten it that way but it doesn't stay secure so I'm gonna have extra holes put in here I'm gonna have it shortened so that it actually fits me properly and I feel like a belt with some gold or silver hardware is definitely a great piece to elevate any outfit and you can do a lot of things with a belt I actually shared a IG reel um, of the different ways that I like to wear my belts so you can go and check that out if you haven't seen it already but I think this is a great accessory that is very versatile and can be worn a ton of ways. Next up in the accessories category I have two handbags and the reason why I have chosen two is because they're both a little bit different and they can be worn in different ways but both of them are also similar in a few senses. So I've got these two bags here. Um, this is the one you guys have seen quite a bit on my Instagram page and I've styled it multiple times on my YouTube channel. This is such a timeless and classic bag. I've had it for over five years now I'm pretty sure and that's why I think that it's going to stay in my wardrobe forever it's the perfect size for me I love how much stuff it fits inside it's got multiple pockets and it also comes with a crossbody strap and I love that it's got this like brass hardware because it adds that element of sophistication and I think that this is a great way to spark any outfit and kind of make it pop the next bag here is just a simple 
it's a simple real leather bag and I got this one a while back I think it was last year actually no you know what I think it was this year um, and I only started wearing it in the fall season because I feel like that's when black really comes out but I like this one because it can fit me properly as a crossbody sometimes as a petite with crossbody bags they're a bit too long and so they look awkward but with this bag in specific I like that the strap is very thin and it is also short enough so it fits me properly and I can wear it and kind of cinch in any outerwear that I'm wearing and because it's so simple it just goes with everything and it's a really great evening bag as well because of the size so that's pretty much it for accessories so now let's move on to the pants that I am keeping this was very difficult for me to choose from because I have so many pants as you guys saw when I was actually going through my wardrobe but the very first pair of pants that I have here is the wide leg trouser like I mentioned I'm not going to be holding these up to show you guys the full pant but it's a really nice high waist it fits me properly they hit the floor and they're kind of they're I want to say they're like a boot cut but they're not a pair of jeans so I don't know if that's still applicable to trousers but they're definitely a wider leg and so they're very comfortable which I think is key where I work because I'm sitting at a desk all day and I don't want to have any like uncomfortable tightness so this is a pair that I'm really going to be wearing quite a bit and then the next pair that I have here is just a Conan pant. So it's basically a cigarette trouser. It goes straight down. It's pretty slim around the ankles and it's a mid-rise. So I can tuck things in very comfortably and the material overall is also very comfortable. And I've chosen two black pairs of pants because this is what I find myself wearing the most at work. So I know that I will continue with that. The next pair that I have here is the exact same as the black high-waisted wide leg trouser and it's got a really nice waistline. I love how simple it is and it's that wide leg so very comfortable and I feel like having this color in my wardrobe doesn't hurt. It just adds a bit of color I guess um, and it's just a piece that is different from all the rest so I think it'll be really cool to work with and style up. The last pair of bottoms that I am keeping in my 33 items is this pair of skinny jeans. So I showed you guys these already when I was going through my wardrobe. They've got a bit of a distressed like hem here if you guys can see. Um, so I really like that and they hit right at the ankle because they are a petite size. They are a mid-rise jean so they're not super uncomfortable when I'm sitting down which I like and they're just a really great wash of denim so I think that they go with quite a few pieces in my wardrobe already. Now let's briefly talk about the tops that I am keeping. There are quite a few of these and I feel like this is because I feel find that I can express my style a little bit more when it comes to the tops that I'm wearing. So the first one here is this purplish gray ribbed knit tank top. It hits right at my hip or yeah I think that's my hip. Um, so it kind of hits right above like your underwear line I would say if you're trying to visualize that. So it's not too long on me, it can be tucked into items and it's tight to the body. So it's easy to work with in a lot of different pants and I really just like the color. Once again, this is a very neutral and versatile color for me. So yeah, it's just like my one color piece besides the tanned pants. The next two pieces that I have here are bodysuits and they are the exact same style but in black and white. These are the ones that I have found I've been wearing the most, especially to work. It's got a crew neck neckline and they're long sleeves but they're like this spandex material so they're quite comfortable and I really like these ones because you can do a lot with a bodysuit and I feel like because it is seamless on the tummy area it's definitely very flattering to almost all body types I would say and I love that you can wear this very chic and sophisticated with a pair of high-waisted trousers and just pair it with a heel or pair it with a sneaker to do either a formal look or something more casual. And I think that these ones will get a lot of wear. And I find that they're quite warm, even though they are not like a heat tech material or thermal. The spandex and just the fact that it's a bit tighter on the body definitely keeps in that warmth. The next three pieces that I've got here are basic t-shirts. So these are actually 
three that I got for Christmas from my parents and I was really wanting an organic cotton t-shirt so this is exactly the style that I wanted it fits me perfectly it's the gray t-shirt that I was wearing in my video on Monday um, and I really like the fit of it on me it's not too long either so it's good for a petite um, height which I really like and this is probably the most flattering t-shirt that I've ever owned so I figured why not have it in three colors so that I can mix and match them with my pieces and not really have to think about trying out different styles and shapes and fitting of the t-shirt. Okay, the next two tops that I have here, and these are my last two tops, are a pinstriped and a white button-up shirt. So this is more of a utility style because it's got those pockets, and I like this one because it's very versatile in the sense that it has um, one of those strings on the inside, so you can actually pull up the sleeve and button it so that the sleeve is kind of folded like that. And so it definitely makes for a more casual look if that's what you're going for. I really like the white one as well because it's more of a a softer and more sophisticated material I guess I'd say let's see if you guys can see that yeah so you can kind of see how it flows um, I have this really great seamless bra kind of it has padding but it's very soft um, from Calvin Klein and I really like how it works underneath white shirts because you cannot see any lines and it looks basically just like you're wearing the shirt so I can get away with wearing something that's a little bit more see-through like this one um, and I just like the way that it flows it can be worn formally because of the material but I can also dress it down just because of how loose it is the next piece that I have here is a black knit dress. So I posted this one on my Instagram page and basically it's a midi dress but it's a thin ribbed knit material and it's got a belt. I really like this detailing on the neckline. It's actually upside down, I'm sorry for that. Um, but it's a long sleeve as well so in the winter time I feel like this is a great option both formally or casually. I've worn this on a date night before and it's very comfortable especially when you know we're going out to eat um, and I also think that this is a great formal piece as well just because it is a midi style and it's got a really beautiful kind of low neckline and I love that it's got that belt to add a little bit of sophistication and cinching to the waist. If I wanted, I could also put the Christian Dior belt on this just to elevate a little bit and that would definitely make it feel a bit more formal too. The next two pieces that I have here are blazers. So I've chosen just to keep a beige and a black blazer. They are both single button blazers so they are not double breasted and I like these ones because they can be worn both formally or casually and I just feel like the beige and the black are the most versatile colors that I have. They are both a little bit oversized. Um, the Beige one is definitely more oversized on me and it's a longer style so I can wear this nicely with like a hoodie or something and then the black one is a little bit more fitted and it's got a shoulder pad in the shoulder area so it is more structured and it does give a bit more shape but I like that because obviously I work in an office so yeah these are the two blazers that I chose. Whew, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> um, the next two pieces that I have are coats so I've chosen to keep this brown coat. This is something that I always always wear. I love that it's it's got a belt so you can really tie it around the waist. It's got side slits and so it's great for my petite figure, very flattering. And then the next one here is just a regular black pea coat. It is a midi length. I love the collar on this one and it's got a single button so it can be worn casually or formally. And I love that it is not too tight but also not too loose. They're kind of both the perfect fit for me and so that is why I chose to keep these ones in my wardrobe. And then last but not least in the outerwear category I've got my puffer. This is one that I most recently got from a brand and I really love this style because for one it's a little bit longer so I find that it's a bit more versatile in the sense that I can wear it if I am wearing um, like a dress or something and I won't be as cold as if it were like a regular length puffer and I also really like that the bottom actually unzips so I can unzip it here and be able to wear it with pants or something like that without feeling uncomfortable when I'm walking. It's also got the kind of like chin and neck shield right here. It's got a hood and I really like that it's a matte black because it's very very versatile. And lastly I totally forgot about these pieces. 
I feel like I've been talking forever and because it's only 33 pieces I'm amazed at how much I still am going through um, but the next piece that I have here is a cashmere like an off-white or ivory cardigan I really like this one because I can wrap it around myself as a scarf but I can also wear it as a cardigan so that's very good in the sense of versatility and then I've got a navy cardigan here as well it's a thinner material I'm pretty sure this is cotton let's see I don't even know what material this is but basically it's just a basic like a crew neck cardigan so I can either button it up and tuck it into trousers or I can wear it around myself and I really like that style you guys know and then the last item that I have here is just an oat colored knit sweater and this is something that I actually haven't worn yet but I definitely know that it's very versatile because again I can actually just cover myself up with it I really like the versatile color it's not too warm not too cool of like an oat color so it's definitely going to go with a lot of the pieces in my wardrobe all of them in fact and I really tried to make sure that all of the pieces could be worn together that's one of the key things that I was thinking about when I was picking my pieces and I already feel so much more calm about me getting dressed in the mornings and I'm excited about the outfits that I'm going to be able to create so before I hop into the shoes my camera's about to die so I need to switch the battery I also included these sunglasses I feel like these are definitely a statement and I feel like these are the ones that I wear when I kind of want to elevate an outfit and really make it look very chic so I had to include these ones and uh, yeah they're great for you know driving and they're also great for when you really want to feel put together okay now lastly let's just quickly go over the shoes that I am keeping in my wardrobe for these three months I just got these for Christmas it's the Chuck 70s and I really like these ones I chose them over my low tops because they're more of an off-white color and I find that this is definitely easier to style and then also you know as it gets colder and as it rains more I feel like a high top is probably better weather wise and warmth wise so I've chosen these ones to keep and they're great because they're waterproof obviously here and I'm going to spray some protectant on this area so that they're really water resistant and then the shoes that I've been wearing the most lately have been these ones from Nine West. And I really like these ones. I got them from, I think it was Designer Shoe Warehouse. So I've had those ones for three years probably, or maybe two years. But they're definitely high up on my wear list. And then I included these pointed toe black booties. So as you guys know, I have quite a few different pairs of boots and I actually decluttered and got rid of two pairs as I was going through my wardrobe. They're right over there and I'm going to sell them. So if any of you are interested in buying stuff and you're in Canada, then it just hit up my IG page here. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff for sale so that I don't need to, you know, throw it in the trash or... Um, give it away and so the next pair that I have here is a pair of midi heels and it's a pointed toe these are pretty much a very versatile pair that I can wear to work if I wanted to be a little bit more dressed up or you know if I'm going to some sort of professional event or outing or even on a date night those are a really great pair that I can wear with both jeans or a dress and then the last pair of shoes here is just these flats with the slingback heel. These ones are super classy. I love the squared toe. And with a wider pant, I really like when a bit of skin shows. So these are definitely ideal. So I think that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to pack up all of this stuff. It is December 31st right now. And literally, I guess you guys are watching this on the same day that I've posted it, most of you. So I'm going to pack up all this stuff. I'm going to post some of my items for sale on my Instagram closet. I do want to make sure that they go to another home for someone who is going to appreciate the items um, versus just, you know, getting rid of them or throwing them in the trash. I think that it's more sustainable to actually sell them to somebody who wants them and also to prolong their life. So that's what I'm going to do right now, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because I do post every Wednesday now. If you want to follow this challenge more 
up to date, I guess, and frequently, then you can follow me on Instagram as well. It's at Haley Estrada, and it's two A's at the end of Estrada, and that is where I'm going to be posting my outfits that I create with only these pieces for the next three months. It's going to be really, really exciting, and I'm stoked to be on this cool challenge. If any of you have decided to join me, I know quite a few of you wanted to when I posted on Instagram stories. You feel free to comment down below and feel free to message me as well because I would love to, you know, keep a conversation going while we do this together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.